Hi, so we've been pulling apart a lot of LCD screens and got quite a lot of this stuff, this bright white plastic. And I was looking at it, pondering what to do with it, and it occurred to me that there's actually a really nice project you could do that would make a good home school session where you could learn about wind generation, electricity generation, and build a project that actually is really quick to build. And, and it's a windmill generator based on a, the... Um, pinwheel windmill, which are in fact surprisingly efficient, but extraordinarily easy to build. Now it'll be a bit more durable made out of the plastic, but you don't need plastic, a bit of paper, a bit of card will do just as well. Now I've got the bits here, so I'll give you a close-up of what they are. Okay, you only really need three bits, a bit of the plastic or card or paper, like I said, one of those, which is a PC fan, and then some of that, not very much. This is Builder's Board, which is a PVC coated foam board. You get it for roof line, fascias, soffit, marvellous stuff, cuts easily, glues with crazy glue and holds together and makes a nice sort of stand for it. This thing, there's lots of videos and I've done a video on how to convert that. Basically, here, you flip that off, there's a little ring, pull out the ring, that top bit comes off. Then you need to break off those blades and then break those off so you just get the centre section. And that centre section looks like that. I've glued a little bit of plastic on there so that I've got a centre to glue everything to. To modify this from a motor, because these are brushless motors, all you do is identify the two ends of the coil and solder on a couple of wires. And that is now a generator. I think if you're going to do it as a home school, you'd want to prepare that as your motor. But very easy, lots of... Um, videos on how to do it, just follow those videos and prepare yourself a little motor stroke generator, which is what that is. Now this thing, what you do is you cut it into a square, mark it corner to corner, and then I've done five centimeters out, just some sensible kind of distance, and cut from that mark to the edge so that you get what is essentially a Maltese cross. And then all you do is you take one corner of the Maltese cross to the center, glue it down, Next corner, centre, glue it down, next corner, and then the next corner. And that's your actual windmill. So we're going to glue that and leave that to set. So there it is glued together. Put that to one side and now make the stand. The stand's a piece of cake, it's four of these bits of board. Cut like that. Some base unit and upright and some crazy glue. Just make sure that that goes higher than the center of your windmill so your windmill doesn't bash against the base. And all you do is pop a bit of this stuff on here and this stuff holds amazingly strongly. Give it a press and in a couple of seconds it'll be ready. I'm just going to glue those on. Okay, so I put a little peg on there. You don't need to, you can just glue the thing straight on. And on this I put a builder's board circle back and front. Again, you don't need to, it just stiffens it up a little bit and that goes on there like that. So a little bit of glue, stick that on there and then we'll go and find some wind. So that's what's cool about these things, actually they are surprisingly efficient. I mean we've got no wind at all really and even the slightest breeze is going to turn that around and get that to generate about half a volt. <laughs> so that would be quite a fun project to do I think and really easy really cheap really quick and gives a nice result